hackathon is about cybersecurity and autonomy. One of my colleagues, Dr. Sullivan, talks about those are the two of the major trends that are affecting the world. We want to create teams that are adept at working at the intersection of those two challenges. So if we can expose government and industry and system center scientists who are here to new ideas at that intersection, that's good. And if we can get a whole new crop of people who think that our problem set is interesting and they bid to do work with us, then we'll have a much more diverse ecosystem of people trying to solve two of their countries in the world's most pressing problems. We've had a lot of real need across from Secretary of Defense on down to really think about who and how we collaborate, especially in this information-based world. Everything's moving very, very quickly, and we've got out here in the Silicon Valley, the San Francisco area, software companies that are used to these release cycles that happen every day or every couple of weeks. And then we've got sort of the Pentagon approach, which is much more seated in older physical type acquisition systems. So, you know, this hackathon is an opportunity to introduce one world to the other world in a really tangible way where they can actually co-develop on a problem. Well, you know, my job as Undersecretary, I'm sort of the COO of the Navy, so I, I, I'm at the policy level. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come out here is so that I could, I could meet the people that are actually trying to get these technologies into the hands of the warfighters so that I can see, you know, what are your problems? What kinds of things are in your way? Things that sort of inhibit their ability to be innovative and quick. And so we're going to take this back to the Pentagon and kind of try to do a scrub of where can we cut some red tape? Where can we find processes that are not working for the autonomous systems development and other technologies, really? And where can we, where can we change that? This is like a swarm of bees. The individual elements all communicate with one another. There's no centralized control. We're focused primarily right now on learning about the behavior of these swarms, how to control them, how they'll interact with people. How will we think about command and control when there's no people to be commanded? And the systems we're controlling are being done at a gross level, where I'm controlling the swarm. I'm not controlling 50 individual units. So those are real interesting scientific questions. spent over the last three to four years uh, maturing our innovations practice, uh, specifically in iHubs all around the country. Over the last 11 months, um, I've just tried to foster relationships between uh, the Department of Defense and the Silicon Valley startup community. We had people from academia, from the Defense Department, from Army, Navy, Air Force, um, who all just cared about these tough problems that we worked on 